Let's continue Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking the video and hope you've been enjoying so far. It is the end of a long week, figuratively. <laughs> it's a shortened week because long weekend, so I'm I'm ready. Oh man. Alright. Well, today, it's gonna be a hunt for another villager, as uh, I have a bunch of tickets. Or I will have a bunch of tickets. That is the correct time. Pietro! Okay. The moment I can give the clown a suit, the clown is getting a suit. Stu sent me a gift. Okay, completed the expansion, all the stuff is done. So now I have even more room. <laughs> Please, please tell me. Please tell me it's a different rice cooker. This is, this is so funny. In the previous file, I was getting soup. I mean, granted, it was gifted by people, but... This time around, it is... I now have a rice kitchen. Um... Ah, oh, it's a duplicate. That's a shame. Oh, well, that's fine. Just place it here for now. I like that kettle. Okay. Is a fruit day. Ah, oh, it's like a cloud room. Yeah, well, thanks again for inviting me here. Yep, thanks to you, I made my big Shamblonia debut today. I think I'm gonna be a big star here, but first I have to get some unpacking done, so we'll see you around. Paraphrasing. I'll be interested to see how his room looks. I need it to sneeze like midway through that sentence. So every time I vacuum in this room, I don't know what it is, it's just like afterwards. You would think it'd be the opposite. I get rid of all the dust. I see you stop in, Toasty. Stay as long as you like. Have you taken interest in my unfinished puzzle? It's great for when I need a change of pace, but if I'm not careful, I can really lose track of time. It's so easy to get sucked in sometimes, Toasty. That's not you. Someone will be doing DIY. Okay. There you go. Oh, well, welcome to the house of Phil. What you doing? Glad you asked. I'm just making a wooden low table. The recipe came to me in a dream. Do you want to hear more about it? Either the dream or the low table? Yeah, go for it. Uh-oh. Uh, I've already forgotten about my dream, but I have the recipe written down right here. You can have it. 
Give it a try. Okay. I like the bathtub. All I have right now is a barrel outside. That's how I bathe. What's up, Alice? Can we talk, Will? I've been thinking maybe I should- No! Don't leave. You're sweet. I was secretly hoping that you'd try to talk me out of moving away. Governor, thanks for caring. Jeez, what happened? <laughs> so quickly. No. Not yet. What the hell, man? I've talked to Alice almost every day. I have not talked... I have not talked to you in ages. I, I know random is random, but still. fossils out of the way and then I'm gonna head out. We're gonna look for villagers. Okay. This is working. Dark out. What's the latest? Shambolania is the perfect size. Too big to see across, but too small for a sea monster to attack. There's only four fossils, so it should be quick. No art either. Man. Okay, before I do this, this needs to go. Mr. Sam, how's it going? Bonjour now. I have to say it in like a very thick Aussie accent. <laughs> bon journo, like you know, a good journalist.
<laughs> Dominic the Coco. Now I want to watch that movie. I haven't, I haven't seen it since it came out. And in my mind, that wasn't that long ago, but it was probably a very long time ago. What was the movie? Inglorious Bastards. Like, the year that came out in. I feel like that wasn't that long ago, but it was probably ages ago. It's at, it's at least six years old, right? You didn't hear because a man is screaming on a spaghetti western. What? I've never heard that term before. Spaghetti western. Am I serious? Yeah, well, if, if I've never ever engaged with said genre, why would I know about it? Sounds like something my uncle would watch. Well, I mean, it's probably just... I guess the other thing is maybe I know of it by its Spanish term. Or maybe it's just... I don't know. I, have, I haven't heard the term. go now. Just gotta get rid of these fossils and go villager hunting. I must have heard of the good and the bad and the ugly. I have, but I didn't know that that was the genre it was in. And when that movie, I guess I knew about it, I would say, yeah, like, I was younger, so, you know, What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Less, um... Less integrated. <laughs> That's it. Like, I'm sure I've, I've heard of or watched some of the movies, I just, I guess, didn't care to figure out what genre it was in. Archelon Skull. What does this mean? Ah, it is done. The Archelon is complete. Splen splendid specimen indeed. The Archelon was a remarkable creature. Pray tell, might I tell you? Yes. Wonderful, this fascinating stuff I assure you. Now, where to begin? Ah, yes, Archelon. It was sort of a huge sea turtle, thus the largest thus far found, if you want to know. They were very sizable, some 13 feet long with a shell size of a small car. They likely ate seaweed, shrimp, octopus, and possibly ammonites, given the era. It seems certain giant turtles had to be prima donnas and eat some of the oldest life forms on Earth. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no. The main characters speak English and everyone else is dubbed. They're American movies made by Italians and shot in Spain. Gotcha. I mean... I haven't watched them myself, but I do remember, like, my dad and my uncles... Like, 
every now and then. Like that, the great escape. Um, the hell is the other one? I feel like I'm forgetting one. Oh, look. They're both getting along. What's my favorite movies? Uh... Animated would have to be, like, Emperor's New Groove. And then, I guess, general movie... I like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Anything, like, by that director. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is another good one. Uh, I like Tarantino stuff. Blade Runner. I'm trying to think of other stuff. I think the only genre that I don't really watch much of is like very gory horror. Because just because I feel like, with the exception of classic horror, Modern horror just tries to gross you out as opposed to scare you, which I'm not that big a fan of. Emperor's New Groove is very Latin American of me. What? <laughs> it stands on its own two feet without, like, where it's settled. It's just... I like David Spade and Patrick Warburton in that, in that movie. What's next for it to Eldorado? I don't like that movie. Lies? Not lies at all. I mean, okay. When I say I didn't like it, it's more at... I, I just didn't take much interest in it. Oh, okay. Easy money. My island theme is like a Karacha, so what? In New Leaf, it was Funky Town. On my first island, it was Vampire Killer. So what have I, what have I felt? Like, rep best represented the town. What's spider in Spanish? Aranya. Like, very similar to Arachnid. I don't know how much I have to spend for them with them to get the next set of stuff. I should probably check the flooring. It sounds nicer than Arachnid. I guess it depends. It's like, relatively speaking, you know? Like, Spanish might sound better to some when it's less common, but then when it's super common, it doesn't sound that great at all. I think I got all of these. I don't have that. Pink shanty. Don't think I'll ever use concrete.
Not always. What's a language that you think you haven't heard much of that you think sounds terrible? You don't like hearing Spanish from movies and TV shows. Why is that? What's the di what's the difference? You know, I guess maybe gra you know what it you know what it is. It could just be because here's the thing with Spanish. Yes, there's Spanish, but then there's Europe. There's European, which is you know, Spain Spanish, and then there's the opposite end of the earth, the Americas Spanish. But then that's subdivided further. So like with TV shows, depending on the country you're watching from, the Spanish might sound different. So in some countries, they pronounce words differently. Like, simple example, um, you know, Apple will say manzana, or manzana, but then other countries will emphasize the th more, so it's like manzana. I, I overdid it on purpose there. And then there's just words that kind of interchange and slang and... So it, it really... You hate the TH sound. Yeah, well we, we don't do that. It really bugs me when you watch Spanish movies. Yeah, then you'd be most likely watching European Spanish. told and this is across the years either my spanish sounds good or my spanish sounds um like someone that isn't confident in their spanish which i can i can get like i'm not a hundred percent confident in it over the years it has gotten pretty rusty but also i guess because I just don't have as thick of an accent when I'm spe speaking it. Which might contribute to the whole, like, not sounding like I, I'm confident in it. My grandma's happy, at least. Like, she says, you know... Of all the grandchildren, it's just me and my, my brother that can speak Spanish without sounding like an English person speaking Spanish, so... I'll, I'll take it. Okay, I can finally move my mailbox. Give you another TH word so you can die inside. Ah, uh, I mean... I have to think about it. I just know that one's the most common one. <laughs> Not in a very thinking mood right now. With your grandma, you usually need Google. Yesterday, you couldn't find the word for linen. Oh. I'm not that bad. I think it's just when it... If I need to, like, make a very... <sighs> What's the word? Like... Everyday conversation is fine. It's just more when it gets to something very specific or, like... A special specialist topic. Well, then I'll struggle a little.
Hang on, did I want anything else? What the fuck is linen? No one knows linen. Well, sometimes it's... It's slang. Like, that's... Like, well, at least in Spanish it is. Also, isn't... Should it, isn't it like... Okay, like, basing it off the Spanish... Okay. Biancheria. Jeez, that's more complicated. Spanish is just lino. <laughs> Alright. Interesting. So hang on, I wonder if there's like a word similar to that. But, you know, I, my, my mom wouldn't say lino, she'd say ropa de cama, which is literally like clothing for beds. That's how I. That's how I know it. It's you know, my. That's what. That's the terminology we, we use, not the formal one. There's a difference between, like, knowing knowing the words in the language and being a dictionary, and knowing the words and how people speak it properly. And I feel like linen. Surely there's there's a word that or a term that isn't like you know so robotic. Oh crap, I went to work. Well, this was an accident. <laughs> so I guess enjoy the movie. Wait a minute. Galaxy brain. I mean, it's fine not knowing. I think it's understood. As long as no one guilt trips you about not knowing a particular language. And in your defense, you have to know three. Like, that's well above most people. Dude, just English speakers just struggle with English. If you can keep three languages in your memory, that's that's impressive. Hey, Lilo. I guess the, the sub notification thing didn't come up. I've noticed in the past couple of days Twitch has been very weird with notifications. But thanks, dude. How's it going? You accidentally just made it an old message, your fault. Ah, it's fine. It's the thought that counts. Now it just looks like you're trying to prove a point with the sub-message, like, SEE! I TOLD YOU I'D DO IT! <laughs> That's what it looks like in the message log. Out of context. Got a night- well, day off, night off. Why is I want to go to work in blue? That tricked me. This is why, because it's in blue here. One thing I didn't know until later is like the way my parents spoke Spanish was very heavily slang. And sometimes on occasion... <laughs> <laughs> they were swearing that I wasn't aware it was swearing until way later. Hey, I got bamboo finally. Alright. Finally out of the blender for a bit. Alright. Oh, it's a. Ugh, it's like an old wolf. Doby. Nah, I'm good. 
is there a formal version? I mean, formal version is like I don't know. I don't know. Here's what I here's what I've heard over the years, right? I've heard over the years that Central American Spanish is the one that's closest to European with the exception of the TH sounds and certain words. So it's, it's like, if you speak it formally, you speak it formally. However, every country has its own version of slang and generally speaks that way. No one speaks like a dictionary. Which, yeah, that's the problem, is like, what they teach in schools is dictionary Spanish. Which, that's fine to get the foundation, but I've told a lot of people this that want to learn Spanish is, you know, do, do your classes by all means, but then if you want to get good at it, watch um, Spanish soaps. I'm not kidding. Spanish soaps are probably the, the best way to learn colloquial terms or slang of a particular country or just how people speak. Because a lot of the time in daily conversation, there's, um... There's a lot of metaphors, there's a lot of, like, um, turning the phrase, right? It's just, if you're going to insult someone, it, it kind of has to be clever. You've been told the same for Korean and K-dramas, yeah. Yeah. So, it, it's kind of hard to answer it. But yeah, slang is not interchangeable. That's it varies from country to country. Um, if you're gonna be around for a bit, Lolo, I wanna do some Baldur's Gate. I can play for a few hours if, if you're down. I just wanna uh, first try and find a new villager for my, my town first. I still understand any kind of Spanish. Um, I would say 80% yes. It's just because I'm, I'm rusty and I'm not familiar with all slang. There's also some some accents that speak very thick and um, quickly. Like I, I got an uncle who's Peruvian, and sometimes if he speaks really quickly, it's hard it's hard to understand the Spanish. Even though it's perfectly, there's nothing wrong with the Spanish. It's me. It's a hundred percent a me thing. But if I'm speaking to, like, my parents, or, um, just anyone with the same accent as my parents, it's fine. They can speak as quick as they want. Your brother-in-law is Peru and doesn't understand anything other than colors. <laughs> down for some bowling. All right, cool, man. Yeah, let me um, try and do this villager thing quickly. I can only play till, uh, for like three-ish hours. Something like that. I guess probably two and a half once I'm done with this, but that should be enough to do some stuff. Down for it? Cool. Yeah.
Yeah, honestly, I've been I've been tempted to just refine my Spanish. It's something I should probably do. Because the thing is, it wouldn't take too much effort. Because I have a uh, a good found a better foundation than most. Let's say that. So I could probably get fluent at it. When did I start streaming? 2017 on New Year's Day. And then I streamed for six months and then I, ha I moved to the city. And then had no internet for three months, had shitty internet for nine months. So that was like a bit of a dark era. And then I moved to where I am now and yeah. Been five years since then, roughly. You mean today? Well, <laughs> that's the thing about English. I thought you were, you were asking like a very reflective question. Like, you know, we're talking about Spanish and I guess history of speaking and that sort of thing. So I thought, oh, this is a more long-term question, not a literally today. Which for that, you know, there's, there's a little clock somewhere on the Twitch UI that tells you. But 37 minutes-ish with the recording. And then 40, like, live total. I'm not gonna overdo it with bamboo this time. I got five I can plant. The way that question is phrased, it could mean either. So, so don't blame me, blame English. I want some bass. Now, am I talking about the musical term or am I talking about the fish? Go on, figure it out. What, you can't figure it out? How dare you not know what I mean? <laughs> you enjoyed the law. Thank you as a Twitch chat. Someone had to. Or am I talking about bass straight? Which some people for some reason I've heard say bass straight. Or am I talking about maybe a bass that I've built? Like a base of operations. Maybe I want a base, like a pizza base. The two things are pronounced differently. Yes, I realized after I said it, I was like, shit. I, I, again, well, that's fine. That's the inner, the inner English as a second language coming out. It's perfect. The, these are the confusions I faced as a kid. Transitioning from a Spanish speaker to an English speaker. I'll do this later. Oh, I have another one in storage, but I'll redeem it anyway. Now, the thing is, usually I ask, like, oh, what do you mean? Like, now or in the past? 
As long as I know there, 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 I'm okay. Yeah, I, I mean, my grammar's fine when it comes to writing. I don't write like Y-O-U-R when I'm meaning Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. Like, I never do that. Let's try again. Another ko another koala. That's four koalas I've run into. This one looks like is that a, a tool belt? The game is only giving me koalas as options. That's the animal I've run into the most. Which I, I don't mind, but I don't want my island to just be koalas. But that is a pretty nice one. Sydney. Pfft, yeah, no. I'm good. You can you can stay here in your box that probably costs like three million dollars. Excuse me. I hear ya. How dare I? <laughs> Well, is it untrue? I've got Melba, that's fine. Melba, good koala. Starts with M-E-L-B, can get on board with that. Would have taken her if her name was Melbourne. I have a koala named Melba. It's as close as it gets to having a koala named Melbourne. So, the ship has already sailed. Okay. Melbourne is pretty expensive as well. Do I know any actual Sydneys? That's in human names? No. I knew someone that had a dog named Sydney. You know, a couple? No kidding. I mean, from what I know, Sydney's like a unisex name. I only ever heard that name on a screen movie. Yeah, I don't think anyone in Australia would use that name. I'm not sure. It'd be like naming your child Brisbane or Hobart or... Melbourne, like it, it's weird. Oh, hello, my name is Bart. Oh, what's it short for, Bartholomew? No, Hobart. I'm 
Yeah, your child named Canberra. Oh, jeez. Poor child. It should be a manly name like Perth. You've got people named Texas, Alaska, that kind of thing. Yeah, I've, I've heard those names. I mean, shit, people name their children after cars or, like, characters from TV shows that they enjoy, and then when the child grows up, that TV show is no longer relevant. I forgot in the Game of Thrones one, but I was gonna, you know, make a joke like, My child is royalty, so I shall call them Khaleesi. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Meanwhile, child grows up, no one knows what that means. Their peers will not know what it is. Now, it's fine if you want to name your child that, but just... Be aware that, you know, the people they hang out with most likely won't know the meaning you intended for it. I guess Darwin's a name, like, that's actually a name. That's another Australian city that exists, but that one's actually a name. Daenerys, yeah, <laughs> or however the hell it's pronounced. Alright, let's go back, in the interest of, uh... I'm looking at more villages. I have too many koalas, though. That one's a good choice. Despite its name, it's it's a good choice. <laughs> it would be it'd be so great if there were, if there was actually a koala named Canberra. So I would put like I would make Sydney live here. Melba live here, and then the koala Canberra in the middle. <laughs> I would that would be a joke that I would work hard to to build, but I don't think there's a koala called Canberra. Just name your child Breaker of Shackles at that point. Yeah, but then you're entering um, rich billionaire territory. I seem to remember that there was some journalist that was stress testing the naming rules here in, in, well, not Australia, but like I think specifically the state where I'm in. And they tried to name their kid uh, methamphetamine. I didn't really look into it, I just remember hearing about it, like someone stress testing the naming rules, and what they straight up would not allow. Oh, that's right, I was going to get the ticket out of storage. Yeah. 
There it is. Okay. I swear if I see one more color. <laughs> the one animal I don't think I've ever run into properly has been the cats. I think I had one move in randomly with the the tent, but that doesn't really count as a well maybe it does. I have the ugly pink jock girl. Oh, the, the gorilla. Yeah, that was one of my starters. Did not... Did not pick her out of choice. My two starters will probably not be on the final island. I got her and the, uh, the mouse that always has a skeptical look on its face. You're a bitch, Mrs. Ham. What? Because you I guess in the way you're phrasing, you're like, Ew, you got the ugly, ugly pink jock girl. I mean, personal tastes are personal tastes. I, I definitely haven't phrased it as strong. We share, a, we share the opinion that we don't want that character on our island, but I guess I'm just saying, yeah, I, I want someone else. I'm more diplomatic in my approach to getting villagers off the island. Alright. Wait, you remember seeing a clip on a TV show? This lady was talking about how much she hated celebrities naming their kids after flowers and shit like Rose. When they asked her what she named her daughter, she said Poppy. <laughs> oh no. Don't forget how you didn't know my job and I did a sigh. Just know that you still remember. <laughs> oh, hello. Is that, is that a deer? I don't think I've ever seen a deer before. Fuchsia. Okay. Yeah, I mean, nice, nice deer. I'm, I'm gonna roll the dice again. I got a few more tickets. You have Zell, he's your favorite. I don't think I've seen Zell before. I've barely seen any other villagers, like I'm just not on that level yet. The only villager I really wanted on this island was Alice, because that was the best one I had on my previous island, so... That happened pretty much right away. Anything after this point is a bonus. Audie's kind of nice. I like Audie. Very colorful fox. Is there a Colton in this game? I think so, because I've gotten a letter from Colton. I had Colton on my previous island. The, the bringer of plagues, the scam artist. I don't want Colton on this island. Colton will remain in New Leaf.
Wait, I've already caught four wasp, I think. There's the furniture. Alright. A ball. <laughs> Just a ball. Spider. Easy money. At least this, this was a new animal, so I'm happy that it's something I hadn't seen yet. The thing that I was kind of unhappy about in turn randomly now, just like off topic. In high school, I wish I could have taken Spanish. They offered it, but it was like this thing where... It was a very specific set of circumstances that they offered it for, so you didn't get a choice. But I would have taken Spanish and Japanese instead of French and Japanese. I don't- I really don't remember anything of, of either, but... I feel like taking Spanish probably would have benefited my writing skills and stuff. Did I do those languages as a scene? No, because I focused more on stuff that I needed for university slash things that weren't going to stress me out. I did, um... I did the the medium math and the easy math. Whatever that equivalent is. And they really wanted me to do the difficult math because that's the pathway they recommend for people in the smart class. They almost to the point where it's like expected. I had a couple of like parent teacher interviews where they were strongly recommended that I do the hard and the medium math instead of what I had picked. And I straight up said, nah, see, I want to do the easy math because I don't want to stress, and for what I want to do, I don't need that high of a, a score. And it was the right choice. I, I was not stressing in year 12 like some. We had standard, advanced, extension 1, and extension 2. So, in year 12, it was... Um... Further, methods, and specialists. So, specialist was the hard one. Methods was medium, and further was the easiest. So, I did further and methods. Come on, boss, too. I forgot what that is. I know Sevar, like... Man. But 
That's all the French you re remember. Dude, the French I remember isn't even French. It's like from that episode of, of uh... Of Rocco's Modern Life. No, it was Dexter's Laboratory. Both... Rocco did a French thing, but then Dexter's Lab did the, uh... The thing where Dexter... Tries to teach himself while he's sleeping. And then his brain only knows one phrase, which is like... Cheese omelette. Fuck. That's rude. There's no way I could have reacted quick enough. I had the net out. Omelette du fromage. Is it still here? That's so rude. Like, that, that was so out of sight. I like the fact that monkey and ape have the same word in French. And so, there's something in Planet of the Apes where they hate being called monkeys. So to translate that line would be very difficult in French. That's, that's about it. That's all I know. I got lucky because the worst case scenario would have been so the way they did it was half the student body did French and Japanese and the other half did Indonesian and French Indonesian I mean not to be offensive or anything I'm just saying it's like it, in the context of the world it's, it's a it's a language that has a very niche use case like it's it's kind of useless when compared to French and and Japanese. Why those combinations? Pfft, I don't know. I really don't. This mouse, no, thank you. They, that's just how they did it. I don't know what the logic behind that was, but all right. Like the thing with Australia is. Um, a lot of Australians go to Bali for holiday, so I guess the rationale is, oh, well, if you're going to be in Australia, then most likely you're going to go to Bali at some point, so you may as well learn the local language. It's like, no. That's, that's pointless. <laughs> French is a global language. A lot of countries speak it. Japanese, whilst not a lot of, a lot of countries speak it, Japan arguably is like a more culturally significant place to visit. So, and the way they did it was pretty much by they arranged it by your uh, your class number, pretty much. And so it was just the luck of the draw. It was if your class number was within a certain range, you did Japanese, French, and if it was a different range, it was Indonesian, French, so. Yeah. I don't know what the logic was, but that's how they split it, and I, I, I'm kind of lucky. Not that I, ret not that I retained any of it, but at the time it felt like, yeah, I lucked out. Alright, well, this was a very quick one. I don't know if there's anything else to get other than fruit. The languages they had on offer at, like, weekend schools were Spanish and Italian. Now, I wasn't going to go to weekend school to do that, but... Those are good options.
Alright. Get more tickets. I feel like places should teach languages based on relevance. Like if it was up to you, Hawaii would do Filipino, Spanish, Japanese, Hawaiian, or something like that. That, yeah. I feel like it would be the same. The problem here, I guess, because Indonesian would have some relevancy by that logic. Like, just because it's, it's a neighboring country and a lot of Australians do go there for holiday. But I think it should be more of a mix of that, but also like world language, you know? There's five languages that are considered world languages, I think. It's a bar. It's a basketball. Okay. But yeah, imagine, <laughs> imagine being able to pick what you want to learn about based on where you think your life is going. If only, right? Okay, still, still got, still got a few miles left. There's no need to panic just yet. This is probably the unluckiest streak I've had with with villagers I'm checking out. I mean, they're not, they're not bad. It's just. Imagine there's someone out there trying to teach Aboriginal languages. I mean, I feel like that one's a bit more difficult to do. I'm not really familiar with, um... With the language structure. I just know that, uh... Like, they have the original divisions of land, and that's something that gets recognized here. <laughs> A lot of them are just straight up extinct. Yeah. Yeah, potentially. I think there's about 300. Yeah. That, that I didn't want to say it, but that, that sounds like what I remember. Don't worry, you teach it. Okay. Well, there you go. It's a, it's a dog. Look at, look at that happy dog. <laughs> Wait, are we wearing the same sweater? Hey, Daisy. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> I I feel like I feel like I have to just just based on this. Like this is. <laughs> what the hell? Ah. I realized that I left all my tools back home, but I asked Wilbur and he let me for exchange. Bow wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this has to be fight. Wait, why, why isn't it giving me the option? Oh, there we go. 
Oh, wow, that's such a great idea. Thanks for encouraging. When I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island, unless you're just teasing me. Do you really mean it, Bow Wow? Yes, I do. You'll love it, though. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to start picking... packing up for my big move. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named... Okay. Kind of amazing. <laughs> what are the odds? All right, I got Daisy. Now I'm gonna recover my tickets before I start the next one. I think I, I have maybe one or two left that I can do. Clothing aside, I, I do like... I do like the look of Daisy, so... It's just the, the clothing made it funny. Yeah, I don't know what- I don't know. Multiple people have pointed this out that I just have insane luck when it comes to villagers. Like, a pretty good ratio, I'd say. And, oh, bed. Rattan bed. I want a duck. I'm gonna try and get a duck for the next one. I would like a duck for my island, please. Do I have a chicken? No. <laughs> it's not like the first file where my starting villager was a chicken. That was funny. show you what I have. Not a bad lineup I have, except the starting two. I didn't want to spoil it, I'd put it in the thumbnail. Just the same clothing. This might be like an easy thumbnail to do. How do you do it? YouTuber bait. Alright. Oh uh, yeah, I still have all the fruit to harvest. Alright, let's be quick. But, uh... Map? Should show them all. Oh. That means the dog's gonna take up the last slot, so then the next task is just to swap these two out. But... This is my lineup. 
these two are the ones that I would want to get rid of. Maybe you, because I didn't really have a choice with you. I guess there's no more plots to land. Well, then it's on to the next task of like trying to get the two that I want to move out to move out. Since I guess I'm full now. How many villagers can you get in one day? One. That's it. But I, I just pointed out that uh, with the new one, it's at capacity. Because they're going to fill in the last slot. So now it's on to the tedious task. making someone move out. Yeah, I'm gonna see how that's done exactly. I know one of it one of the things involves not talking to the villager. I'll see what I can do. Without bullying. Wait to see Pietro's house. It looks like it'd be pretty interesting. Pretty happy with the choices so far. What is it? I hope so. I want to be able to brag to everyone. I was there before Shambalonia got big. Hopping up Shambalonia sounds like a ton of work, though. You really do a lot for this place. Actually, I got something that might help. Right, so it's not huge or anything, but. Showing off a sweet retro gas pump. Where would we even put this? towards decoration. Maybe I should do what I did in New Leaf that got lucky to accidentally move out, which was make a pit full seed and put it directly outside their house so they have no choice but to fall into it.
Hold on. Well, I guess since it's at capacity, that means it's going to move on to the next phase. Work apron, I'm good. Wait, did I see... That? Hang on, what butterfly is that? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's the other butterfly I needed to find. So the only thing remaining is the fish. And then I have everything that's going to disappear in a couple days. Blathers is looking awake. Teach me more. The Emperor Butterfly is called the Jewel of the Forest, but its vivid blue hue... Ew, let me tell you. The color does not come from a dye, but rather from light reflecting off layers of translucent scales. Yes, butterfly wings are covered in tiny scales. Scales! Butterfly, bah, more like snake of the sky. <laughs> I thought owls eat butterflies, or small in smaller insects. Just eat it, man. I feel bl I feel bad telling Blathers no, you know. Wants to spread some knowledge and. You'd have to be kind of an asshole to say, Psh, no, just shut up. I don't want to hear anything. Just asks you in a really polite way. I feel like this tree has been trying to grow for a while and it can't. But then again, it probably... Uh, hang on. I'm gonna do this just in case. This is clutter anyway. Oh, good. He wears a bow, you can't say no. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the bow, but it's a mix of things. Sure, that's, that's what I was going for. Now I know I'm definitely done with the fruit, because I moved it all. There's nothing on the northern side for me. Uh, 
Uh, all right, quickly. This is this a series of transactions thing. Five minutes. It, it kills me every time. This is the sort of thing where, in my line of work, it would be like, guys, this, this takes too long. Like, it's cute the first time, but... I want to do all these transactions quickly. <laughs> Look at this conversation tree. I'm going to be here for five minutes. Tickets. I think I need one more. Oh, crap. <laughs> I still need to get the, the mystery flooring and stuff. Yeah, I need one more ticket. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I hear it. Where is it? I hear it arcing up, but I'm not sure where it is. Oh, what? <sighs> That's... Oh, that's so unfair. <laughs> I couldn't see it. It was, it was in such a big blind spot. Alright, well at least it's gone now. Where is Sahara? There you are. Yes, just to get the ticket. Still not done.
I think this was this was straight up done on purpose just to add out. Okay, we're done. But pretty much to get everything Sahara has, it's minimum five minutes. Like, where's the new room? It's... It's currently being blocked. Give me a sec. My workplace would have me do it in five seconds. This is what I would say. I'd be like, alright. The first conversation that you have with Sahara, let it be charming. But then, the moment you go to the thing, would you like to do something else? At that point, make it brief. So then you keep the charm, but then it doesn't get annoying because you're having to to go through this whole thing over and over again. Something along those lines. I forgot about this feature. Interesting. I don't really have anything useful. Yellow paint. Shanty, I guess. Actually, massive. <laughs> I mean, that kind of defeats the purpose of. Yeah, then I'll do what I did before. I'm sure I can change the color of the bed. Wait, how do you do it? No. That. This is what I want. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I'll do. I'm not really too fussed for now. Once I have a lot more choices, then I'll, I'll bother. I really don't have a good choice of music.
Is it a torch chamber with that accent? Or well, I mean, I can see a hipster cafe doing this as well. I mean, for now, whatever. It's not like I have many choices. You look at all the other stuff I have, it's probably worse. It's like, almost like a shack or a shanty. Okay. Well, that's all I wanted to do today. New villager acquired. Now I have to make the villagers I don't want move out. That's the next step. All right. Well, if you are watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to you and hope you enjoyed. A bit of a shorter one today. Um, but next time we'll see. It's moving towards, uh, I guess, the late game, quote, late game. <laughs> and I'll try and figure out how to get some of the villagers I don't want to move out so I can go searching for more. But yeah, in the meantime, if you want to support the channel, just remember to click buttons, particularly those ones that have the thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Thank you to those that do do that. And also, if you want to check out more of my streams, just click one of the two videos that pop up on your screen. And yeah, hope you enjoy. All right, till next time. Bye, YouTube.